when Jesus was saying that, those Jewish people knew what the word forgive meant. They also, they also had this idea that whatever corruption was in their life, it had come from sin. Mm -hmm. And so to say, man, your sin has forgiven you, was to say that I am sending away from you the corruption that's come upon your life. Right? Wow. And they also knew God's the only one that could forgive sin. Yeah. So for this guy to come and say, man, your sin has forgiven you, means that this guy's saying that God has found favor on us, that his face has shined upon our lives, and that he is divorcing us from the corruption that has come upon our life. Amen. And if that's what dwelled in our heart, we all going to encounter corruption in this world. We're all old enough to have figured that out already. <laughs> if nobody in here that's three or four. <laughs> hey, listen, I mean, some, sometimes the lucky ones make it to three or four without corruption coming upon their life. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, the corruption is all the time trying to come upon our life. The gospel is Jesus saying to you, man, I've divorced you from the corruption that's tried to come upon your life. Yes. I've sent it away from you, man. What's the only conclusion you could come to if a guy possesses the ability to do that and he comes and does it? This guy must really love me. Right. This guy must actually be the lover of my life. My life must be precious to this guy. Here, this guy has been carrying the burden of my life for me. He's taken it upon himself to care for my life. And look what he's done. Yeah. Amen. Then you become like a little child all over again. Right. Because you stop carrying the, the burden of caring for your own life because you see this guy did. And now you become like a little child right. who's not busy thinking about how to care for their own life. But they're just running around enjoying the <laughs> life they have right. from their parents. Right. <laughs> Enjoying the life they had from their parents. Yes. Not busy thinking about what we're going to have for dinner. When are we going to have dinner? When am I going to go to sleep? When am I going to wake up? When are we going to... Not thinking about any of that. Just thinking, can I go outside and play? <laughs> yep. Yep. Right? Kelly, did you have something you wanted to add? 